So, there's the computer right here. So this is David's first time riding in the modded three mm -hmm. with the springs, the sway bars, and the carbon ceramics. What do you think? It is lower. It is visually. lower. I yeah, I, it's lower. I actually almost fell in the <laughs> car when I I wasn't expecting the height of the seat to have changed so much. So I actually almost fell when I got in the car. Yeah. So I guess we have some confessions to make though. Um, what was it? About a month ago, we ended up selling David's 90D. Yeah, it was uh, mid-February. Mid-February. Sold it to a buyer. He flew out from Minnesota and drove it back. And now David's been using my ass as his daily, and I've been using the Model 3. Well, we have a lot of stuff going on with the Model 3 uh, to try to make it more race car-esque. If you saw the recent videos, you will have understood that, reason being. Um, but I need a new daily. So um, what are we going to do today, David? Uh, well remember we did talk a couple months ago about some new features we've been seeing some new codes yeah, yeah. we've seen on Tesla's website indicating that what autopilot 3 well uh, yeah autopilot it's three, 3 but the, the code is 4 APH 4 autopilot 3 was coming so basically we ordered a vehicle so that we would have an autopilot 3 car yeah and the way it worked out is we actually ordered one and then found out it didn't have the code even though the codes were yeah. online. Ordered it. This, this literally too many. The VIN, we found some yeah. other VINs like off by 300 which have it. Ours didn't so we just missed it. So today we are going to pick up an Autopilot 3 hardware model X. X. So we're going to have one of each now. We're going to have the S, the 3 and the X. Bjorn just did it, so unfortunately I can't say that anymore, but it was going to be like having sex in the garage or something like that. It would have been really funny. We can still say But good job, Bjorn. Yeah. Uh, maybe we still Missed won't. it by that much. That much. But uh, we're actually keeping all ours. I think he's actually selling his S and his X and just keeping the three. But yeah, so we're going to have one of each now. Uh, a couple reasons. One, the X would be great for the dogs. Uh, it'd be cool to play around with those features, make more content on that. And now we have, yeah, one of each where we can do the different hardware now too. We can play around with yeah, that. We'll have Autopilot 3. Hopefully that gets more features. We're gonna features. have Autopilot 2 in the Model S, Autopilot 2.5 in the Model 3, and Autopilot 3 in the Model X. One of the very first Model Xs with Autopilot 3. Yep, and also, the Model S and the Model 3 should be upgraded to that new Hardware 3 computer because we Eventually, have already yep. paid for full yep. self-driving on both of those vehicles. Eventually, we'll get that. So, yeah, kind of an exciting day. So we are actually driving there now. I literally just got in last night at like midnight from the California road trip. We are here at Tesla and I see a white Model X. That might be it. it no, that's a P100. That's not ours. <gasps> this is probably it right here. No, that's got a dealer tag. I don't know. No, those say test drive vehicles. Oh, that's not ours. The wheels are not right. That, no, that's not it either. It could, <laughs> could be that one. There's a bunch of white Model Xs here, so who knows? But it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. So we'll see soon. Five minutes later. Okay, just got finished with all the paperwork. Here you can see the three and the new X. David's gonna drive it home so I can drive the three. See, I'm trying to figure out the mirrors and stuff. Hi, David. Hello. Model X. Yeah, it's big. So, it's so much bigger. we got the six seater. Or did you want me to drive the three? I don't care, it's lowered though. Oh. Maybe, it's up to you. What do you think? I'll just do this one then, I guess. Okay. I just haven't driven it. How many miles are on it? Um, five. Five. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, this does have the new autopilot, so uh, in like the next video or something, yeah. all this is going to be coming off and we're actually going to dive into yeah, so that. so there's not going to be anything visual or like Elon said, um, there won't be any autopilot changes right away, but we'll at least be able to get in there and see what hardware it has. But right now it's got to calibrate, it's only at 13%, so the next day. Okay, so Model X here, we're going to go ahead and crack it open and see if we can see the autopilot computer because this has got the new APH4 code, which is the Autopilot 3 computer, which is Tesla's chip design. Am I right, David? Yes, designed by Tesla. So um, we're just gonna start popping body panels. Actually here, build quality has increased. 
couldn't get in there to wedge it. Got it! Okay, so we uh, got a little aggressive there. Can so, you see um, anything? Where's your... Uh... That, we can't... We can't see anything. This is the side of the glove box. I'm not willing to throw an endoscopy camera in there because I don't want to hit something that's like not supposed to be hit. So we actually have to take this off to take our glove box out. But I'm actually going to do this anyway because I don't like this trim at all. So this is going to be kind of combined with a future video. Um, we bought all the carbon fiber pieces, so that's why all this has to come out anyway. Why do they do such a good job putting it together? Yeah, you can't remove this until I can get to the screws behind this. Oh. But we don't want to go breaking a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break it. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> okay, um, we'll add sound effects. We ended up pausing it because this was really hard to get out, and then I just yanked on it really hard it's and it this. came out. Sound dampening, no, so it doesn't, it because rubs you can stuff. hear the fan. Oh, yeah. So there's some sound dampening along here for the computer fan. Yes, yeah, so so we actually sit that. We actually looked in here. We can actually see, well, it's hard to see because it's dark, but you can actually see the computer in there and you can hear the fans going. Here, put it right up there. We'll be quiet so they can hear the fans. Not very exciting. Just yeah, you know, it's sounds, not, like a, yeah. Very, sounds like a couple a fans. Very quiet computer fan. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing out, which we have. You know some what you forgot to say? Right here. You forgot to say, don't try this at home. Oh yeah, don't try this at home. I mean, yeah, try it at home. I don't care. You do you. It's your car. Yeah, but you guys are gonna have to put it back together again. So make sure it's not beyond your abilities. That is true. I guess instead of don't try this at home, it's more of a uh, do at your own risk kind of thing. Okay, so those are Torx 20s. We just took out those five bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them. And I think this just comes right out. Maybe I missed one? Do you have to close it? Oh, I need this bottom trim off. Okay, so it comes off really easily. Notice, uh, did you I notice lied. though, we've got the white trim in the Model X, whereas the Model S has the uh, Yeah, what's up with that? Trim. Can so we, we talk about that? Because a new Model S has black trim right here, whereas the new Model X has white trim. I like the white trim. What do you guys like? Comment down below. Yeah, but... we looked out because we thought we were going to have to buy white trim off of some total Model X or some used parts or something, but luckily, it came with white. There's another bowl. Oh, there you go. Okay, and you want to be careful though because you do have a light and you have your button in here, so you don't want to just let it draw. It looks like it's got more sound dampening material in there. It does. I wonder... Oh, this metal up here is actually kind of toasty. Oh, well, it's because the computer's in there. We just need to make sure we get all these. Tiny flathead screwdriver. Well, that was just the sound dampening material still on there. So, there's the computer right here. Oh, and right here it says 00F. So you see how that ends in 00F? That means it is the new autopilot computer for hardware three. And if you look on the part catalog, actually on Tesla's website, it actually also says that's the part number for autopilot three. Yeah. And you can see the ports over here. Do you have your light over here? Like to show the ports. So you see it's got like an, it looks like an HDMI port. And is that, I don't know if that's- Oh my God, it does. What if we, oh, can we hook up a monitor to it? Or do you think that would break something? Yeah, that's definitely USB-C right there. So it's not terribly exciting just seeing the bottom of this because we're not seeing all the microchips and all the, uh, everything else that's on the circuit board. But at least we can see that it is the right part. We can and confirm. We, we guaranteed it's, yeah. it's Autopilot 3 hardware. So yeah, like if we were to actually open that and unplug it and everything, we could actually see the chip itself. However, that's kind of risky because I've heard some people say they have to be plugged in in certain orders to work. Um, I, I don't know I'm really willing to fry it. And it's a brand new car anyway, so it's like we don't want to... It's a brand it. new and expensive car. Yeah, we just got it yesterday. You don't want to like <laughs> break it. Literally, like 24 hours old. Yeah. So we are not going to dive into it too much. But we wanted to show you guys 
I guess kind of what it looks like. It definitely still has fans on top. You know what we should do now? We could go look in the Model 3 and see. <laughs> we could see. How many thumbs up does it take to get to the Model 3 computer? I don't know. Or we could do the S. Comment down below. Or I guess we could do the S, but it's going to be anticlimactic too. So, I mean, I don't have time to actually finish this up today. So I'm going to rock it like this through the weekend. A video coming soon actually on replacing the dashboard trim. The decor. The decor, sorry. I don't like this figure dash at all. Not my style. But somebody might be interested in getting I mean, yeah, I guess dash. if you're interested in figure dash, hit me up. But... Are you modeling it for the people? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's brand new. It's 24 hours sure, old. Some people would be quite pleased to have some figured ash decor in their Model X. Figured ash decor? Ash, ash. But yeah, we got all the pieces in carbon fiber, so we're going to switch it all out because the carbon fiber looks so much better in my opinion. But anyway, just want to give you guys a quick first look at the new autopilot computer. A lot of you guys had commented. A lot of people said it's not even in production yet. Well, yeah, I keep seeing, you're wrong. I keep seeing people saying, oh, it's not coming, it's not coming till April. And then, of course, as soon as Tesla put out that announcement the other day saying it's already in production, we're like, yes, we've known this because people have been getting delivered Autopilot 3 hardware at least since uh, March 22nd. And that's actually why we delayed this car, because originally we had another Model X. We delayed it so that we could get this one because this one had the new Autopilot, the other one yeah. didn't. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, throw that thumbs up button. And also make sure you subscribe because we're going to be doing a ton of testing with this. And especially as new software comes out, we should kind of be like on the forefront with this car. So At least for Autopilot 3 hardware, uh, yeah. software. Elon did say that right now the software is not going to make much difference because nope. it's written for the Autopilot 2.5 hardware. Yeah. And, and so we're not going to see a difference. It's kind of like when Autopilot 2 first came, back, came out back in 2016. There was actually no software for it, so yeah. Autopilot 1 was better than Autopilot 2 for a while, so we might see that again with Autopilot 2.5. But at least the nice thing is, uh, I don't think it's going to be better. I think it's going to be pretty similar, because if we don't have you any... You should be able to at least still run it, because this yeah. is a similar, it's at least similar, whereas before exactly. Autopilot 1 was totally different hardware than Ex Autopilot 2. Exactly. But at least 2.5 and 2 and 3 are all a lot similar with the same camera, same sensor, well... The only difference between Autopilot 2.5 and 3 is this computer, per Elon. I guess we'll take that with a grain of salt. For now, that's the only stated yeah. difference. Huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S, back there, Model X, like this one, or Model 3, like that one, definitely check them out. Link in the description. Using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off your first order. As always, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Woo!